are a traditional favorite in many gardens for obvious reasons. But one of the features that they have that we often don't think about when we're purchasing roses is the rose hips that they have. Roses produce a fruit just below the flower. The one over here has a bright red color. We have one back here that has a cranberry red color. And these fruits from a flower in another part of the garden have a bright orange fruit on them. They're very attractive in the winter months, especially when you have a nice coating of snow around and you get the contrast between the fruit color and the snow. These are a wonderful way to attract wildlife. The fruit actually is very high in vitamin C and many of our wildlife will feed on them through the winter months. They're also something that you can use if you know what you're doing to make a tea or jams and jellies uh, if you collect the fruits. These are actually in the same family um, as things like apples or pears. So if we cut them open, the fruit on the inside is gonna look very much like a miniature apple. So if you're interested in attracting wildlife to your garden, or maybe adding another edible plant to your garden, consider choosing a rose based on the size and color of its rose hip. For the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Donna Hoffman, and you're watching From the Ground Up.